Good morning, everybody. So today, uh, I will tell something currently become a phenomenon. Why digital skills matter in the future of work? When I was a kid, I was fascinated with technologies. Every time uh, I see the science fiction movie, it amused me how the technology changing a lot. Over the decades, it changed the perspective of humans, how it works, and how accelerating the people's mind. In 80 to 19, uh, this era actually the golden age of science fiction movie. There is Star Wars, Star Trek, and also my most favorite is the trilogy of Back to the Future. Directed by Robert Zemeckis, actually Back to the Future tells us the time travel story from Martin McFly and also Doc Brown. They travel through different time back and forth from present, past, and also the futures. They try to resolve what actually the triumph paradox happening because of their fault. <laughs> so, uh, what I really want to point out from Robert Zemeckis before he was famous with the movie of like a Forrest Gump or a Castaway. In this movie, he tried to describe what kind of future will be happening. His vision really gives us the glimpse in 80, in 1985, it's really become a hit. Wow, it's amusing. It's really outstanding how he can describe what will happen. There are several technology actually currently happening. There are first, as you can see here, the VR headset or virtual reality, what we call metaverse right now. And then he also describing about the Augmented reality, which is create an image to be alive. And in, they have a joke on the movie, the Jaws 90, uh, the shark become alive and eat Marty McFly. And the last that I want to highlight is the most common from, uh, for us. There is a home video call or the Zoom call at home. So it's particularly what uh, we already experienced at the moment during the pandemic. So there is a lot of more technology, actually, as uh, Robert Simakis tried to describe. There's uh, flying cars and then alternative fuels and also the hoverboard, real hoverboard, not the two wheelers. So it, it actually gives a glimpse what will happen in the next decade about the technology transformation or evol evolution. So when I try to describe the experience from Marty McFly, he tried to reconnecting with the technology happening in that era. It's kind of awkward. It's kind of uh, anxious how Marty McFly can use the technology. There is a space between you, between Marty McFly and also the technology itself. They try to fill in the gap. So this is what we call digital skill gap. What the, the, this kind of feeling actually is similar when we try to travel abroad, a new place, a new culture. We try to synchronize ourselves to the situation, to the environment. Similar things happen in digital skill gap. So what I want to mention as well, what happened after the pandemic? Or I can, I can say it's still in the pandemic, actually. Let's see this video that I want to share with you. All right, meet Gloriana, two years old, my daughter. I took this video during the second wave of pandemic. So uh, we are in quarantine. You can see how fluency is interacting with the iPad. She plays a busy board on digital way uh, in, inside the iPad. 
So during the pandemic, uh, we have limitation on accessing, uh, interacting with the real person or interacting with the real people outside. So this, there's only way using a digital device or application to keep us connected with the outside world. Maintain communication with our peers, with our managers for works and also for kids, they need to go to school, but they need to uh, use iPad instead to keep uh, continuing their school. So this is a moment where actually for us to reflect back how we can encourage our kids to keep growing while at home. It's challenging, but it can be done. Actually, it helps them become a digital natives. This era, they born in the digital world, so they need to get to know well how they can operate the device or the tools or the apps. So in terms of industry, actually there is several things uh, emerging, several emerging jobs now become a common sense because of the transformation of digitalization from the company during the pandemic, they need to catch up and accelerate all the policy inside of the company. Here it is, several jobs actually needed in the digital era, like cloud computing, data and AI, programmer engineer, product development, content production, people and culture, digital marketing, self source business development. The interesting part of this digitization People and culture, South South Media, actually a uh, conventional job, right? They don't, actually don't really recall for using a digital technology. But it is crucial for them to be part of developing the digital skills for all their workers. Like people and culture, they're helping their organization to moving forward with implement of digital skills. Sales and BD also require negotiation. They still need to be in the position to negotiate with the partners. So in this new era, beside of digitization, we also are already experiencing the decentralization. We can work anywhere, everywhere, even in the home, at cafe, and now some of the company already apply work from anywhere. So remote jobs become a new norm. So people now have an option to work hybrid, remote, or on-site. And also they need to have a self-autonomous. So they can work in, uh, they have limitation to work with uh, their colleagues. So they need to improve themselves. They need to be initiate what they need to do. And Above this all fascinating uh, digital skills and digital jobs, basically there is a uh, fundamental things they need to mastering first. First, they need to uh, have mastering in problem solving, critical thinking, and empathy. So when they do their job, they know when, where, and which part actually they can implement their digital skills to resolve some problems of their jobs. That's why modern problem requires modern solutions. So why digital skills matters? Here's one of the capital city, uh, one of the country, small country actually, in the Europe. Literally they have uh, digital skills learning, they teach the student, their kids since the preschool. What fascinating about this country actually, they have CTO for their country to manage the, all the information technology infrastructure. And they become the pioneer of digital society because they're integrating all the government system to do medical assessment, to have uh, uh, financial access, 
and they do voting by online. It's not US, it's not UK. I introduce you to Estonia. Estonia become the first country that actually implement all the curriculum to teach their children since early beginning of their uh, study. As you can see in here, in preschool, they already introduced them to the device on the usage. Detail, they deliver digital literacy material to them. 62% of Estonian actually already have digital skill, basic digital skills. So this is very interesting how we know one of the small countries actually become the future of the government. And then there is a question after we know all the digital skill is important and how we can start to building it. There's two options before you start. First is upskilling, which is you improve what you already have your current domain to be an expert. And then the second one is rescaling. When you do rescaling, you will learn a new domain, which is probably not in your current expert, but this is like a cross path for you to acquire new skills to help you later on the flexibility on your job. And how you can learn this? Basically, there is a several method that you already had. First, you can do uh, you can do a digital learning, which is now provided in many platforms like LinkedIn, Udemy, or other learning platform. As you can see, there is more, more, and more uh, online certification. And also, there is an in-person or virtual workshop. Basically, it helps you to connect it with people uh, online now. You can access everywhere right now. This is the benefit as well for uh, the pandemic. We can uh, join a webinar in US, in uh, Australia, which is different time zone, but you had the flexibility. And then there's peer and body apprenticeship, which is helping you to growing together, learning from your peers or body. And then mentoring, which is coming from your manager or coaching from the external organization. You can combine uh, several of this uh, method to help you uh, improve yourself on the digital learning. As I said, there's two parts to measure it. You need to understand your deep of expertise, which is your specialist, and also the breadth of essential skills, which is your generalist. I had uh, one of proverbs from Greek uh, philosopher Seneca, Descendo Decimus, which is by teaching, we learn. Actually, by teaching others, your transfer knowledge, your knowledge to others, it's helping you to grow. It's helping you to be more expert. And you also learn new things from your mentees or from your uh, apprentice. So, this is important for you to keep the teaching while you are in a uh, company or in organization. I have several inspiration from my life that actually happening in the uh, Apple Developer Academy. Some of my mentee basically coming not from uh, skills that require technology advancing. One of these is, uh, let me introduce you Akbar. He's coming from accounting. From accounting, he joined the Apple Developer Academy. He studied and tried to unlearn and relearn. Unlearn means that he tried to uh, empty his mind. So what he learned in the uh, campus, the, he tried to relearn new things in the academy. Fascinatingly, he became a designer decide to become a designer, UI, UI designer after he graduate. The other story is coming from Timotheus, or I usually call him Timo. He coming from a science, a computer science, but uh, I look up his passion actually a game developer. Some of the project actually a game, 
and together with his team, he built uh, several educational games. Even though he also can design the character, the environment by himself. This is some things that you never discover in someone in working in IT. So he tried to mention to me that he always aim high and shoot low whenever he want to learn new things. Means that like uh, throwing an arrow, you need to aim high, then you landed in this uh, uh, particular area that probably helping you to maintain or mastering the skills. And the other story coming from Evelyn. She's coming from designer in his campus. And what, his, uh, what her mission actually, he, she wants to be uh, building an app to helping people to have an uh, equal access for impaired hearing uh, people. So together with her team, she, she actually starting coding and then become a project manager. And uh, together with her team, she built an app called FASI, which is helping the impaired hearing for a job seeker to practice their job interview and uh, train their speech clarity. What a noble mission is it? So Evelyn with his fr uh, her friends try to figure out the way out for these disabilities people to have equal access for everyone to improve their digital skills and the requirement. They also have a community called Deaf to Deaf to, Deaf to help them interacting from the community to, who has similar problem so they can solve it. So they can uh, give a demon to the industry. They have right to get a job. So why we need to prepare digital skills from now? The answer, I give you the answer. This meme will answer your question. Thank you. <laughs>